Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use a, make a cool rising effect for builds uh, using a new piece in Reason called the Echobode Frequency Shifter Delay. And it's uh, an additional plugin you can buy for Reason, and I highly recommend it. It's one of my favorites that I've got so far for the new Reason 6.5. Um, so let me just play you a clip, and as soon as it's done playing, I'll show you exactly what it is that I'm going to be showing you how to do afterwards. But here it is. <laughs> Okay, got rid of most of the sounds going on now. All right, so the sound that I'm specifically going to be working on is this guy right here, which is a kind of derived from my dub disco synth. But listen to what happens in it, uh, and that's this is what we're going to be working on, the rising sound, which is the frequency shifter coming from this echo bud. All right, take a listen. So there you have it. That's the sound that we are going, or the effect we're going to be coming up with. And it's it sounds really cool on all sorts of synth basses, white noise, anything. It's just a really cool way to bring something up. It's another, Instead of pitching something up, it's another way to bring something up. And you guys know how much I love to pitch stuff up. <laughs> so let's open up something new. Here's a new one. Let me just close this for now. All right. So... What you're going to do is on whatever instrument, FX, whatever you're going to do, you're going to be creating a creative effects using the Echobode Frequency Shifter Delay. So here it is, and this is what it looks like in its initial state. Um, so what what you're going to be doing to this Echobode to be making it sound right, well, first of all, you need to make it an init patch. So right click on it and click Reset Device, and now it will be in the initial patch. And let's bring this target to be in the delay mode. And let's bring the rate down to about point, say 0 0.678, and we'll have the amount down to about uh, 2.94, so they're both looking like they're in the same direction. We're going to leave the range on wide. We're going to move the stereo over to, to the right, sorry, and we're going to be leaving the sync as is. We'll leave the phase as is, and we're really, this frequency knob is how we're going to be creating the uplifting sweep. So we're going to keep the anti here, and we're going to keep the sideband here. Let's bring this delay up to, I'd say, around uh, 3.37 sounds right, somewhere around there. And the filter will have down to about, I'd say, 11,846, somewhere around there as well. And the feedback will bring up to maybe negative 6.69. That's looking good. And now we don't want this mix as heavy as it is right now, so we're going to take that wetness of this mix and we're going to bring it down to around 34%. Now, uh, right here, you got the great effect. So let's just save this, and I'm going to call this the riser. All right. Now let me just take a Thor really quick to, sh to demonstrate how I would use this. And we're just going to lay out a quick line of one note. Cool. And I'll quickly just move that over there. And I will, there we go. I'm going to show you guys how you can make a quick riser. Now, of course, this is not going to sound that cool because I'm literally just using the init patch from the Thor. But let's just bring the sustain up on that Thor so you can hear it. So this is... be sounding like that. Now what we'll, what I'll do, bring that down, what I'll do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to create an echo boat frequency shifter delay on it and I'm going to now open this uh, riser I have, the riser. So now it has what I've created and it'll sound like this. Now, 
Now watch what happens when I slowly bring the frequency knob up here. So basically what you're going to want to do in to, to create a smooth riser with this is you're just going to click edit automation on that frequency and you're going to draw in a slope of some sort so that the frequency follows, goes up in whatever way you want it to. So let's have it starting it there and let's have it ending there and let's take a listen to what that sounds like. And there you have it. That's you, This effect is so cool on anything you use. It's so simple and so effective to create a lot of energy in any kind of buildup you're using. Or even on a bass or lead synth in the song. You don't even have to do it just for the build. Um, I've been using this all the time, and I love it. So if you have this Echo Bode or don't yet, I recommend getting it. It is called, once again, the Echo Bode Frequency Shifter Delay. And it is one of my favorite new add-ons, and I would use this effect. And there's many other things you can do with this, but this is personally my favorite thing so far. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and make sure to subscribe and come back for more. I'm doing these all the time.